We don't know much about how these Saxon smiths forged such intricate blades during these dark ages, but we do know their tools and workshops were primitive. But they were master craftsmen, able to make their weapons both beautiful and strong. On some levels, a Saxon smithy would be a very simple thing, but I don't think the people who are producing these blades were simple smiths. I think they would have been specialists. The blades that they used back then were being used in reality. They produced these blades using a technique known as pattern welding, a process that created blades with beautiful swirling and rippling patterns to befit their golden hilt fittings. To show just how much skill went into making one, modern-day swordsmith Owen Bush will replicate a Saxon CX blade to match the gold and garnet hilt fittings from the hoard. I'm going to fold this material and it will, it will become the edge. It's very similar to the techniques the Japanese used to make their samurai swords. Then he forges the layers together using a hydraulic hammer that hits the steel 240 times a minute, the equivalent of eight men using sledgehammers. So compared to, to my Saxon brethren, it's, it's quite a tool and a big advantage. The next stage is the back of the blade. I'm, I'm twisting this bar. It's going to be a decorative element for the back of the sax. Twisting each bar of steel 50 times creates stars and chevron patterns down the back of the blade, and it also adds strength. The middle section's next. He saws triangular notches out of one bar and presses it into another, creating a wolf's tooth pattern. That will give me an, an interlocking pattern like teeth running along the edge of the blade. Owen oh, then joins all the sections at the ends. They're acting in a a very complex engineering way, which, which, considering this is how the Saxons made their blades, is quite amazing. The final and most critical part of the process is forge welding all these components together. He can't make a mistake now. He's invested so much time into the piece. The end result is a blade containing over 1,500 individual pieces of steel. Though not made of gold or garnets, pattern-welded sword blades are every bit as impressive. 